Well, I'm just pretty daggone excited. I'm near Wright-Patterson, where there's an awful lot of development in special aircraft and the space program. But I'm not here to go to Wright-Patterson. I'm here to go to the new build center for the Merlin aircraft. And I'm very interested in the Merlin. It's single seat, which has got pluses and minuses. The big plus is the expense. It's about a third of the cost of a two-seat airplane. So if your mission doesn't include taking another person, or if that would happen rarely, you're really better off with a single-place airplane. My plan is to continue my relationship with the flight school, where they have the CTLS, which is a two-seat, to rent that I'm, I'll be qualified in it and a member in good standing and can use one anytime I want when I need a two seat airplane but when it's just me doing what I want to do I only need one seat and for that reason the Merlin's of interest but today we're going to the new build center where I believe we're going to find a Merlin being assembled uh, we'll probably get to talk to Chip Irwin and see what he's doing always innovating always working on something new uh, this is an exciting program it's not just an airplane it's really kind of a community of uh, people seeking this one goal which is a much more affordable LSA all metal and then you can go into four stroke and fuel injected but it's really everything that I want and that's what I'm here doing today so when this video continues We'll be looking at the airplanes. Glad you're along. Thank you. Well, the Merlin isn't new. And uh, you can find evidence of this exact airplane being built and flown and with Chip in charge back into the 2015, 2016 range. A lot of good articles written about it, and a lot of people really liked it. So when you see these posters, there's history behind this airplane, and that's another thing that I do like. Well, today I am at the Innovation Center, and uh, this isn't a Boeing plant or the Skunk Works, but clean, efficient, well laid out, very workable. So here's the topic of today's discussion and uh, investigation. The single engine, single seat, Merlin, high wing, fixed gear, and uh, this is one that's come in to the U.S. This is the very first one with the four cycle engine and uh, all the care and, and expertise they put into hose routing, wiring, a lot of detail, and uh, that's why I went over to see this being done, and I'm impressed. So this center is being called the Innovation Center, and also I believe it'll be used as a build center. So when you buy a Merlin, you what I really want is to buy a kit that I finish 51% of it. I don't want to pull a million rivets and I don't want to do something that's very redundant. I want to learn the process. I want to learn the majority of the steps. I want to complete the majority of the airplane and I want to be the A&P and the inspector and the pilot and the owner. So when you see this airplane, this is basically how it will come to you. You'll need to finish the engine, the panel, and some of the interior work and then you will have an airplane that you built the pride of building it flying it understanding each component and that's really what the LSA kit is about this is not a big airplane and no it doesn't fit every mission but if you think about what you want to do this might be a really good fit for you like it is for me a couple things that I really like it is flown by a stick not a yoke and that's somewhat uh, my enjoyment of military aircraft and the fact that the flying I want to do a stick would make it a lot more fun. The other is this big huge throttle quadrant and the brake. So this is not a cable that sticks out of the dash like a choke cable on an old tractor. This is an actual airplane throttle quadrant. That and the stick in the single seat fits me. I'm actually having the opportunity to work on something. This is the new panel, and uh, while I'm here for the morning, I'm actually getting to work. This is a board I've just removed per their request, 
a little bit of fun for me to actually help on the program. Well, this is obviously where the new panel goes. And by new panel, I mean fully updated, EFAS in and out, uh, engine management system, radios, moving map. Uh, this plane is not going to be uh, an ultralight where you're just going to fly from farm to farm. This will be equipped as well as any other small airplane. And remember, for approximately one-third the cost, of other new airplanes. Well, if you're looking for an all-metal constructed high-wing airplane that's brand new and very affordable, this might be the airplane for you. And that's what I was looking for and that's what I really like about the Merlin. There is room for cargo, an overnight bag, all your flight gear, and depending upon your weight, there's quite a bit of room back there and you can put a lot of stuff. This is also where the parachute, uh, the ballistic parachute goes. If that's an option that you're interested in, I believe I am. Well, this is one of the things that I'm most excited about. This is a four stroke, two cylinder, 60 horsepower V-twin with electronic ignition and uh, water cooled. Everything that I want in a power plant and really the things that I don't want aren't here. I said that kind of backwards, but I really, really like this. The prop will be adjustable, ground adjustable, and this does not need carb heat. So this is not a complex airplane. This is an airplane you go and just have fun. When I was there, they were working on the cowling. It needed some modification for the new engine, but this is progressing right along. Are you going to Oshkosh? Look for this airplane at Oshkosh. Uh, Chip just keeps marching ahead with the innovation. This plane gets better and better. Delivery has been slowed by shipping problems, labor problems. I know he's fighting an uphill battle with some of those, but I'm really impressed with Chip, uh, his integrity. He misses some shipping dates, but boy, the battle he fights with ocean freight and every other labor shortages where these are assembled. I, I really feel for him, and I think he's a person of integrity. The design of the plane, I think, is amazing. I think it's sturdy. I think it's well laid out. I've seen a, a guy that's six foot eight get in this and just smile and say, ah, this fits good. Uh, I've seen all sides of people get in this and just marvel at how well this plane is laid out. Well, if this sounds like it might be the right airplane for you, the best place to get more information is aeromarine-lsa.com. And that's the website where you'll find all the, the information. Particularly the blog is interesting, and it shows and documents almost weekly, every two weeks, the innovation, the progress, so you can keep up with this. Would you like to be part of innovation, community, a new airplane, a better way of doing things, go check out that website. Spare parts availability? Yep, I think Chip will keep us covered. From what I've seen, uh, he's good at inventorying, stocking, cataloging, um, <laughs> other neat things that come to mind. Color-coded hoses which show you what's going through the hose and if it's on the way to the engine or returning, things like that. Things that you probably don't get out of a bigger factory and you'd get from an owner pilot innovator. I like that a lot. Well, that was a really nice visit to the build center. Um, this airport is Barnhart near New Carlisle, Ohio. Really neat little airport, grass strip, and a uh, paved runway, really nice markings, pretty good selection of hangars. And uh, that's where you can assemble and get help putting together your Merlin. And where a lot of the innovations being done, that's why I enjoy coming over is to see uh, the work being done and the innovation taking place. Warning, low flying aircraft look both ways. neat
home of the Flying Angels.